Welcome back. Taking a closer look and more reaction from the Major League Baseball world tonight, Alex Rodriguez posted this message and photo on X. A-Rod said, absolutely heartbreaking to hear the devastating news about Pete Rose's passing. He always brought a smile to my face when he worked when we worked together at Fox. He was true original and one of one. Nobody loved baseball more than Pete, and I'll miss him terribly. Jose Canseco tweeting out moments after the news broke. R.I.P. Pete Rose, another player that should be in the Hall of Fame. And earlier tonight, our Marshall Kramsky spoke with Hall of Famer catcher Johnny Bench. Of course, Johnny shared with him that he and Pete actually were together just yesterday. This photo was taken yesterday at a, a signing event. And some of the big red machine there, of course, Bench, Rose, Dave Concepcion, George Foster, Ken Griffey Sr., Tony Perez as well. Uh, Bench told Marshall that he has a deep sense of loss. He's devastated. All those greats were again at a card show in Nashville just yesterday. Just yesterday. Mm. Well, and from fans to sports journalists, Cincinnati is remembering Pete Rose. WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey spoke to fans and a familiar face here at WCPO about his legacy. As fans learned of Pete Rose's death, the memorial for him grew. My father and I didn't agree on TV shows. We didn't agree on music. We didn't agree on ways to speak. But the one thing we had connected was was Charlie Hustle, right? That that was it. You know, we had we had the Hit King, we had Pete Rose, and I was instantly devastated. I don't think there's ever been like an athlete to pass away that's hurt as much as losing Pete Rose. Pete Rose, the MLB's hit leader. That guy to be there. Cincinnati born. You got to stay here. Charlie Hustle, and to those who knew him, like former WCPO sports reporter and anchor John Popovich. But I really, really liked him as a person. Rose was a hell of a guy. He was Cincinnati. He was very much a kid from, uh, I guess it's Riverside or Saddamsville, you name it. Uh, he grew up there. He grew up tough. He grew up a Western Hills kid. Popovich says Rose was not the most talented, but he worked like a madman to be one of baseball's greatest ever. He had an encyclopedic memory of the game, and he was a polarizing character. There was a lot of people I think you'd find, if they're not from Cincinnati, they didn't like Pete, they didn't appreciate him. He was, uh, was hard-nosed, he was cocky. Popovich says love him or hate him, Rose's legacy does, of course, come with an asterisk. Bets on baseball landed him with a lifetime ban from the Pro Baseball Hall of Fame. The problem was he lied. He, he, he did it, and if he would have told the truth at the beginning, maybe things would have been different. But even that asterisk, he says, comes with a silver lining. Even though he's not in the Hall of Fame, the Hall of Fame has more video of Pete Rose than any other player who has ever played the game. So in a way, he's in the Hall of Fame, if not officially. At Great American Ballpark, I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.